So, yeah, what I want to talk about right now is, since this is a video, since this is something that's been on my mind for a little bit, and this is the first time I'm posting a video in a very long time, you know, and I'll have another video discussing what my channel is all about, because I was trying to figure out what exactly uh, the purpose of my channel really was to, hold up for a second what the purpose of my channel really was, which I'm sure is a, a, a phase every, pretty much every successful YouTuber goes through, like what, at least I'm pretty sure of that, you know, what their video, what their channel is about and what they want to do with it, and that's why I didn't post videos for such a long time. Now, what I want to discuss for this video is, um, is in general, I'll have to pause it again. Now, what I want to discuss for this video, in general, is how to make music without sampling. Now, I made a video once, which was entitled, Do You Have to Sample to Make a to make a Hit Song or something like that? And I have to simply say the answer to that question is a definite no. Is a definite no. You don't have to, you don't have to sample to make a song, especially nowadays, in my belief. And now the question that remains is how do you make a song without sampling to be honest with you now how you make a song without sampling i'd recommend that the best thing you do if you want to learn how to make a song without sampling is that you actually focus you yeah, have to pause again is that you actually focus your time um on how to actually is you actually focus your time on how to make a beat in your head. It's just like when you write, write when you go to school and you write a story or something. You don't just randomly start writing and all that sort of stuff. When you make it, you think it out. And as you think it out, it becomes better and better. I'm going to do a part two for this video because I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of out of it today. Um, not for YouTube in general. I'm just not really feeling that great but to continue on with my point i was trying to make is that when you get good on youtube is that when you um do this skill you have to realize this is a skill that will last for potential is it that this is a skill that will potentially take some time to get good at you know and i would suggest the best method of course which would be very, very, very easy to do and completely for free to actually practice how to make your own beats, unique beats, you know, not sampled at all from your head is to actually listen to music from different people. I know people would say, well, isn't that kind of sampling in a sort of way? But no, it's not necessarily sampling. It's just simply getting influence you know you're just listening to a song you know say have a hand clap you might when you make a song do a hand clap in your own unique way you know you know if uh they're if they have a bass or something you'll do it in your own unique way you'll pick a, a different musical instrument and you'll do it at a different um rate you'll do it in a different way or something but you're just listening to it to get influence for 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 your style and what type of music you want to make but the best absolute best method and all these methods go together just to point out is to actually get a music software program if you're really into music and listen to the musical instruments just play around with them and listen to them and once you listen to them you'll get an idea of the type of music you actually want to well make what you know the type of mu you know you'll get an idea from there of what beats you want to hear in your head just play with it randomly maybe just play a few chords and chords is something i need to acknowledge which of course i need to acknowledge it because i haven't acknowledged it before is that chords is something that you use it's just like like you know it's just like um words for example you know it's something you just use to for to form a full story you know to form a beat you know it's something you have to use whenever you're making music because to pretty much sum it up it's pretty much the sounds people decided go make sound good together you know because of course if you have an instrument 
someone's going to figure these things out. So I would recommend that you would um, maybe just play around with a few chords and just listen to chords you like and stuff. Don't focus your time on calculating, like saying, for example, you know, you have to pause again. Like I was about to say, you know, like uh, listening to one chord and saying, oh, I like this chord, I like this chord. And you play it on another instrument, you say, oh my gosh, this chord sounds horrible on this instrument. Don't do chord calc, don't calculate when you're trying to make a beat. Just play with it randomly. You might hear a sound you like, then you'll play with another musical instrument. You hear another sound you like, you just keep on doing the same thing over and over again. And of course, you'll find your own methods for how you learn best when you just randomly play on a musical instrument on on Fruity Loops or something, since Fruity Loops is the big thing. And of course, over time, you'll gradually get better and better at um, it, to be honest with you. You'll gradually get better and better at that skill, to be honest with you. You know, uh, and that's pretty much all I have to say for my video, you know. And once you start getting better at forming beats in your head with actually using real, your, not real instruments, instruments, but, you you know, you get real experience from the things that are actually available for you on Fruity Loops. If you want to make rap music, you know, to be honest, with you, you can then start forming beats in your head. And the best thing is if you're actually really into it, you might start thinking on your own free time how to make beats in your head. You know, think of that beat and how it could sound better. And you'll remember this sound, musical sound you played before. And it'll just, well, gradually get better and better. And then next thing you know, boom. You're now making some pretty sick beats. And you'll just go and play it again and just make a sick beat. And, and that's all I have to pretty much say how to make uh, beats without sampling.